So synthetic division, I hope you can see just from a, a, an example, when I'm dividing by something of the form x minus k is quite faster than polynomial long division. One thing we do need to remember though is if I'm given, um, let's say a divisor of x plus three, because this has to be of the form x minus k, I need to rewrite this as x minus a negative three. So in this case, our k would be negative three. Let's work through this example. So the first thing I want to do is identify my k. I'm dividing by two. I put all my coefficients over here. I've got two, one, and negative 10. We pull down that first term. Two times two is four. 1 plus 4 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10, negative 10 and 10 is 0. This is my remainder, so there's no remainder. So if I divide 2x squared plus x minus 10 by x minus 2, I'm left with 2x plus 5. Now, I could rewrite this as if I originally had f of x is 2x squared plus x plus 10, I now know this factors to x minus 2 times 2x plus 5. I could then use this information to find the zeros. Oh, because I found perfect factors, right? Um, so I could set each of those equal to 0. So I've got x minus 2 is 0, so x is 2. I've got 2x plus 5 is 0, so 2x is negative 5, so x is negative 5 halves. These are our two zeros for where our graph crosses x-axis. So let's use synthetic division to divide x to the fourth minus 10x uh, squared minus 2x plus 4 by x plus 3. So remember I need to rewrite this as x minus a negative 3, so my k in this case is negative 3. And remember I do always need to put a 0 for each missing term. Here we're missing an x cubed term. So I have negative 3, and then I take all my coefficients, so I've got plus 0x cubed. The coefficient here is 1. I've got 0x cubed minus 10x squared minus 2x plus 4. I pull down my first term. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. 0 and negative 3 is a negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. Negative 10 plus 9 is a negative 1. Negative 3 times negative 1 is a positive 3. Negative 2 plus 3 is a positive 1. Negative 3 times 1 is a negative 3. Um, 4 minus 3 is 1. So I can rewrite this as x cubed, because it was degree 4, we divided by degree 1, so now we've got x cubed, minus 3x squared minus x plus 1, plus I've got a remainder of 1 out of x plus 3. So here's the solution of the example I just worked out. I did want to include it for you guys in the PowerPoint, um, so you could um, have it for reference. So let's do another example, and then we're going to rewrite this using uh, the division algorithm. So I have x cubed plus 3x squared plus 11x plus 9 divided by x minus 1, sorry, x plus 1. I need to rewrite this as x minus a negative 1 to find my k is negative 1. So I have negative 1. All my terms are represented, all degrees. So I have 1 x cubed, 3x squared, 11x plus 9. I pull down my first term. Negative 1 times 1 is a negative 1. 3 and negative 1 is 2. Negative 1 times 2 is a negative 2. 11 and negative 2 is 9. Negative 1 times 9 is a negative 9. So my remainder is 0. So my divisor, f of x, was x plus 1. 
and my quotient was x squared plus 2x plus 9, and I had no remainder. My remainder was 0. All right, now I have 5x cubed minus 6x squared minus 28x minus 2 divided by x plus 2, and I want to rewrite this in terms of the division algorithm. So I'm going to take x plus 2 and rewrite this as x minus a negative 2, because in order to use synthetic division, my divisor binomial has to be of the form x minus k. So I have negative 2, and that's going to be dividing 5x cubed minus 6x squared minus 28x minus 2. And I pull down my first term. Negative 2 times 5 is a negative 10. Negative 6 and negative 10 is negative 16. Negative 2 times negative 16 is a positive 32. Negative 28 and 32 is 4. Negative 2 times 4 is a negative 8. Negative 2 and negative 8 is negative 10. This is my remainder. So I have f of x is x plus 2, our divisor, times our quotient, which is going to be 5 x squared, it was x cubed, it goes down a degree, 5x squared minus 16x plus 4 with our remainder of negative 10, so minus 10. Again, let's solve the following. I have, ooh, this is a big one, isn't it? So I have 2x to the fifth plus 0x to the fourth, remember every degree has to be represented, minus 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 24x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. So this is of the right form, meaning our k in this case is 2. Woohoo. So I have 2, and we're going to divide 2x to the fifth plus 0x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 24x minus 2. I pull down my first term. 2 times 2 is 4. 0 and 4 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Negative 2 and 8 and six is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 and 12 is 15. 2 times 12, 15 is 30. Negative 24 and 30 is a positive 6. 2 times 6 is 12. Negative 2 and 12 is a positive 10. So this is my remainder. So I have 2x to the 4th plus 4x cubed plus 6x squared plus 15x plus 6 plus our remainder over our divisor.